Now to the breaking news we've been following all morning. One of New York's finest is in the hospital this morning after he was shot in the arm. CBS 2's Elijah Westbrook has been on the scene since early this morning in the Belmont section of the Bronx. Elijah, what are we learning about possible suspects in the investigation? Well, Cindy, I can tell you right now as we speak, police say they have a 16-year-old in custody after being involved in this shooting that injured one of their own this morning at around 3 o'clock. Now, listen up. The NYPD says they're still looking for two other suspects. One of those suspects was last seen wearing all black. The second one was last seen wearing a black hooded sweatshirt with blue jeans. Now, take a look at this. This was the scene uh, just hours ago overnight. The incident happened on East 183rd Street and Prospect Avenue. Two officers in an unmarked car were patrolling this area when they noticed two males. Why those specific males raised red flags are unclear, but as the officers drove up to them, one of the suspects fired at least six shots, striking an officer in the upper left arm and piercing bullet holes in the driver's side window. Now, both cops got out of the car and fired back before chasing the suspects. We're hearing one of the officers ended up capturing that 16-year-old we were mentioning earlier. Now, we're also hearing more gunshots rang out moments later in this same area. Police say those gunshots were not directed at the, at the officers. Right now, as we speak, two males remain at large. Mayor Eric Adams, Police Commissioner Keyshawn Sewell, and other city leaders provided us with this update over at St. Barnabas Hospital. Here's the mayor sounding off on guns and the urgent need to get them out of the hands of criminals and young people. Look at the scenario. 16 years old. Officer shot, another individual potentially is armed. This officer was doing his job. Too many young people have too many guns in their hands. And our job is to create a pathway to stop that and to ensure that we remove these guns off our streets. Now, the NYPD says this area is no stranger to gang violence, and that is the reason why those officers were assigned to patrol this neighborhood. Again, two men are still being sought after. The description that was provided to us is that one of them was wearing all black, and the second suspect was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt and blue jeans. Of course, anyone with information is being urged to call police. Cindy? Elijah, what's the latest on the officer's condition? Well, Cindy, right now, as we mentioned earlier, we know that that officer is currently recovering over at St. Barnabas Hospital in stable condition after he was uh, struck by a bullet uh, in the upper left arm. Uh, we do know that he is doing okay. Uh, he is expected to be released from the hospital either today or at some point this week. So that is the uh, good news, if you will, out of all of this. Uh, the mayor uh, did praise uh, this individual for saying that he did a great job and, and responded in, in the way that he was supposed to in a situation like this and is, is no noting that he is fortunate uh, to be able to come home because there are many other officers who are in situations like this who are unable to come home right away. So that is the good news out of all of this, Cindy. All right, that is promising. Thank you so much, Elijah Westbrook, reporting from the Belmont section of the Bronx.